So where exactly is Denton, Texas? Well, today we want to jump into the map, show you around, and give you a better idea of what's going on in Denton, where everything's located, and help you have a better understanding if moving to Denton is going to be the right fit for you. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? I'm Kristen Carpentier with the Living in Dallas team located right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, work, and play here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and hit that bell for notifications. That way every single week when we're dropping new content, you'll be the first to know. I am a licensed realtor here in the great state of Texas, and my family and I actually relocated here to the Dallas, Texas area just over 10 years ago now. So we kind of feel your pain and we learned a lot along the way. So if you have any questions, anything that we can do to help at all, reach out, call us, text us, send us an email, and let us know what we can do to help you make that smooth move here. All right, so let's jump into the computer. Let's show you around. Okay, so here we are in the city of Denton, Texas. Now there actually is the city of Denton, but also Denton County, and Denton County is huge. But today we are just focusing on the city. And it makes it a little bit harder to see these red lines right here are pretty much the borders of the city of Denton. And it's a little bit harder because we have all of this green space around. So with the city of Denton, there's actually a lot of room to grow here. The city of Denton is actually about the size 96 square miles, approximately, just a little bit over than that. It has a population of over 145,000 people. Denton is actually quite large. Now, because of the amount of growth that's been happening over the last couple of years, the median price point here in Denton is just over $400,000 now. That being said, with the median home price, there's actually a lot of affordable options here in the Denton area for housing. There are multiple homes that you can buy in the $300,000 range. They're not even necessarily super old homes. I mean, granted, they, they're older, but not falling down. So with today's market, a lot of people are saying if it's $300,000, it must be totally falling down. Well, but because of the location and where Denton is, that's, necess that's not necessarily the case. It might be outdated. You might need to do a little bit of updating, but you can get a lot more home for your money up here in the city of Denton. Now, a big draw for people living in Denton is its location, obviously. So the Highway 35 runs straight north here up into Oklahoma. And when it gets down here, pretty much right in the center of Denton, the 35 freeway actually breaks off into the 35 West freeway that heads down over to Fort Worth and the 35 East freeway that heads in the direction of Dallas. So when you kind of see where it's located and how far away it is, that's a whole other story for a lot of people, especially if you're thinking of commuting to downtown Dallas. You can live in Denton and commute anywhere. But showing you here from downtown Denton to downtown Dallas is about 40 minutes, 40 miles. And that's, of course, like with no traffic. And then when you kind of go over here and talk about where Fort Worth is, it's just about the same, about 37 miles. So Denton, centrally located, especially if you're having to commute. But of course, over the last couple of years where a lot of people have gotten to work from home, if you're not having to commute down there every day, there's a lot of reasons why maybe you want to be in Denton and why maybe Denton's a great location for you, especially for the affordability factor. But with that being said, commuting down into Fort Worth versus Dallas. Now, the biggest problem with commuting is there really is only one, one direction to get that way. Um, it's this 35 East freeway to get down to Dallas, but you can take it over here. And if you're working down in like say Louisville or Carrollton, but it really, if you want highway traffic, it's kind of the only route that you have to go because this right here is taking you across Lake Louisville. So it's this big bridge, there's no side roads, there's no other options. But of course, if you live here and you kind of know some shortcuts, say there really is a bad accident or traffic is backed up and you see, you know, you're checking all of your apps in the morning, you can actually take this road right here, which is 2499 and it actually heads 
straight down into through the middle of Flower Mound. Obviously, it's heading through the city, so there's lots of stoplights, could be lots of other rush hour traffic, especially within the community there, and it's not a freeway, so it could take you a while. But say you're headed to the DFW airport, this $24.99 pretty much takes you straight down and you could head straight into DFW airport if there's a problem. Obviously, worst case scenario for a lot of people. But if you are commuting over into Frisco and Little Elm or Prosper area, uh, down over into Plano, and say you're up here and you wanna take the 380 freeway, or it's not even really a freeway, there's stoplights along that too. Biggest problem right there is the fact that there's a lot of construction. So much growth has been happening here in the North Dallas area, and a lot of that growth is happening all, you know, uh, through Aubrey, down over here into like the Prosper area along 380. This whole north part of Frisco, which is where the PGA headquarters are going in, huge new hotel. So tons of growth happening right along here and clients that we knew were needing to move or wanting to move into the area said this 380 highway, roadway, whatever you wanna call it, is an absolute nightmare. Like all hours of the day, it seems. They're saying it's taking an hour, hour and a half to get anywhere. But you can cut down here as well and go through Lake Dallas and cut across this toll bridge right here over through Little Elm. So if you are working over here, that is another option. It is a toll bridge, but if you need to, if you wanna go that direction, if you wanna go to the Little Elm Beach over here, it is another route if you don't wanna have to head all the way down here to Highway 121 and go that direction on the Sam Rayburn Tollway. But living here in the city of Denton, there's actually tons that are going on. You actually can find new builds going on in Denton, everything from up here on the north side to all the way down around in here. And some of these new builds are even more affordable. Granted, they're brand new. You can get average price point around here for new builds, probably five to $600,000. You can get them in the upper 300, low $400,000, a little bit more up this direction, but there are options for new builds if that's truly what you want here in the Denton area. And one of the biggest things that people talk about here in Denton that is going on all the time is there's two big universities right here in downtown Denton. One is Texas Women's University and the other is UNT, so the University of North Texas. So essentially right here, downtown, you might as well call it a college town. That's pretty much what it is when school's in session, tons going on from football games to activities, traffic, college students, the restaurants, the bars, hanging out, lots going on, but it doesn't matter. But if you really wanna go check out the music scene here in Denton, which is a big deal, it's a great area to go hang out on the weekends. We have done it when our kids were in high school, they would go do it just because there's a lot going on right here downtown. Yes, a little bit of a college scene, you know, keep your kids, especially the ones in high school, away from the bars. Granted, they shouldn't be able to get into some of them anyway, But right here downtown, tons of amazing restaurants right here down and around the Denton County Courthouse. Um, And it's and it's not your chain restaurants. They're, you know, kind of like the one off. And some are fantastic. These great little shops, some vintage shops. There's a lot of great vintage things going on here in downtown Denton. But also, if you are looking for short term rental options, if you're looking for investment properties, They are all around down here in downtown Denton. In fact, we had a couple clients, a couple actually really good friends whose kids were going up there and they were looking for great investment properties, places that they knew that they could rent out with their kids so their kids could probably oversee it a little bit better while they were going to school up here in Denton. So the homes around here, probably a little bit more rundown, but you can find homes relatively affordable. And if you're not afraid of a little bit of fixer uppers, For some of them that we have seen, um, a lot of great options down here for investments. Or even if you just want an investment property, or granted, maybe you just want to live downtown. But there is a lot going on, like I said. And one of the biggest draws every October is the Denton Art and Jazz Festival. Right here, middle of downtown, right off the 380 is the North Texas Fair and Rodeo which happens every August, and that's a great fun event too. You don't have to go to the Fort Worth Stockyards to see a rodeo. And everybody says that this is a little bit more of your 
you know, your neighborhood, your your city, your local rodeo, and it is a ton of fun. And it's just like any rodeo you could see. You go watch all the events outside, the carnival rides, and all the food, and uh, it's definitely something to be checked out. But what a lot of people ha- didn't realize, I mean, especially if you're wanting land, especially if you love that country cowboy lifestyle, the city of Denton is actually one of the largest concentrations of horse farms and ranches in the entire world. There are over 400 of them in the area. It's not always thinking of like Fort Worth or Dallas is where all of the, you know, your ranches are. A lot of them are right up here in Denton. And when you can see all this green space around, there obviously goes to show there's a lot of land around and great opportunity if that's what you're looking for. In fact, we had another friend who knew somebody wanting to relocate to the area with some land, have a small little ranch, maybe like 20 acres. And surprisingly, there's quite a lot of options out here. So if that's something you're looking for, the ranch life, the raise some horses, let your kids have some chickens and some goats and some pigs. These are some fantastic areas up here around Denton. But living in Denton, People, you know, have done it for years. There's a lot of older communities, a lot of established neighborhoods, some really beautiful ones. Like we're always talking about the more established the neighborhood, the bigger, the more beautiful trees, the more winding trails and roads. And so it's the city of Denton is another, you know, is another great area. But there is lots to do with just within the city of Denton. They have a water park Denton, oh, right up here north, Denton Waterworks Park. They have a couple of country clubs as well, a little bit further down south here in Denton. But you have pretty much all the shopping, all the restaurants, and everything that you could think of right within Denton. So if you don't have to commute for work, if you're worried about like getting all of your grocery shopping because you want to actually go to the store and not do all of your shopping on Amazon, there's plenty of it here. And for the most part, you're going to have most of it over here on the 35 East side. When you get down here, the 35 West, there's not, granted a lot of building is starting to go in here. There's some great communities being built out over on the West side. All your shopping, all your restaurants, for the most part, is all down here along the 35 East. When you zoom in here a little bit more, this 288 right here is, it's pretty much where everything is. You have the Golden Triangle Mall, which well, it's not a big, huge mall or anything, but it does have a Dillard's, it has a JC JCPenney's. Um, you know, when you can zoom in a little bit more and kind of see everything that it has. So like I said, not a ton, a few stores and stuff in there, but all along this 280, 288 right here, like you can see tons of restaurants, all your fast food restaurants, all of your main restaurants, your Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, big lots, I mean, who doesn't need that, right? But you have a huge Target, a huge Home Depot, and all of this shopping all along here. So your TJ Maxx, your Michaels, Ulta, Home Goods, Old Navy, over here in Denton Crossing. But all of this stuff right here is along Loop 288. And Loop 288, you know, when you zoom back out really quick and kind of show you, it is this loop that really does go all the way around um, the city of Denton and hooks up with the 35 over here. Granted, this isn't your like typical highway so to speak but like your big main road if you want to get all the way around Denton it does have that option right there but down here also along the 35 east you have all of your you know multiple hotels multiple restaurants and it's all right along here especially if you're coming into town to visit family or you are going to check out a football game up at UNT or something like that definitely lots all this is going on right here back to talking about homes and neighborhoods and say you do want a new build they they even we have clients who are just adamant that they want a Toll Brothers property well Toll Brothers in Denton was actually a lot more affordable than when they got down into the Flower Mound area so they were still able to get their Toll Brothers house but there are some other builders around as well you know that um, that are fantastic And like I said, a lot of these neighborhoods have been established. There are some smaller, newer neighborhoods intermingled with some of the older neighborhoods, but just tons of growth is happening here in Denton. And I guess that's probably the biggest drawback going on right now is that Denton has grown so much over the last few years, or even longer than that now, 
that like even down here along Teasley where like Geyer High School is and heading back out over here, construction like crazy. So it is kind of a headache right now, lots going on, but eventually, hopefully not be there as bad as it was. But even throughout the entire city of Denton, there's there are, speaking of schools and where all these kids go, there are multiple high schools here in Denton and they do get fairly, you know, pretty good ratings. They may not have the A plus ratings as a lot of some of these other areas around here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, but they do have great ratings. Obviously, we always say to check out niche.com and greatschools.org, but for the most part, all these elementary schools are rated A's and middle schools and even the high schools, B plus, A minus. So definitely something check out if that's something you're concerned about, but there are definitely some great areas, some newer communities, and even some beautiful, great older established neighborhoods as well. A lot of the shopping is down over here along the 35, but it doesn't mean that you don't have like right here, your Kroger grocery store. And you know, when you zoom in a little bit more, there's a Sprouts grocery store over in here. Your everyday shopping, definitely some of these strip malls down around through here. You can have your country club lifestyle, these beautiful homes that kind of back up to the country club, some really beautiful views in some of these neighborhoods. So multiple things to do here in Denton and its location really is fantastic. So if you are tired of commuting, if you are tired of being stuck in all of this traffic and you don't necessarily have to be commuting as much, Denton could definitely be a great option, especially because you are able to get more home for your money here in the Denton area. If you are traveling up to Oklahoma and if you do want to go out in the Plano Frisco area, there's multiple ways to get there. We love what's going on in Denton. We love all the activities that they have up there. And if you want stuff for your everyday life, Denton probably has it for you. So if you have any other questions about what it's like living here in Dallas and how we can help you move to one of these areas that we talk about, feel free to reach out. Let us know how we can help answer those questions and maybe give you a little bit more direction on which place might be right for you. So until our next video, call us, text us, send us an email and let us know what we can do to help make that move here to Dallas that much easier.